ESRI, or Environmental Systems Research Institute, the company that makes the ArcGIS software platform that we use in this class and many others, have a tremendous amount of educational resources available through their website and training sites. This video is a short overview of some of these resources that you'll see in this class and in other classes that you will take. From the esri.com homepage, to get to the main Esri Academy or the Esri training site that used to be called the virtual campus, you go to support and services and then choose training. If you notice the URL now, it's changed to esri.com forward slash training. I oftentimes just type that directly in the browser. From here, notice you can browse the catalog. You can look at certification classes and look at the classes you've taken through my academy. Before you can do any of this, you must first sign in. You'll sign in using your ArcGIS account or login, sometimes called an Esri account. This is the account that you created when you joined our ArcGIS online organization. So I'll go on and sign in now. And it takes us right to a page where you can search for different types of training. You can look at the course catalog here as well as at the top. You can look at class schedules, your dashboard, and different lesson plans as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the catalog and I'm going to look at the course catalog. Notice they've got new training, also training that's been retired. So over time, when courses become out of date, they retire them and they create new courses. And I usually go to the course catalog and have you go to the course catalog as well, where I have you search for classes. Notice you can browse by topics, getting started, mapping and visualization, analytics, data management, and more. And you can also change the formats of the classes as well as the products. And so you can filter a lot of information out by using these drop downs. You, you can look at free training or training that's only available to people who are on current software maintenance. And what that means is that you have paid for the software and uh, pay for yearly updates when you're on maintenance. You can also look at ArcMap, ArcGIS Pro, Extensions, ArcGIS Online by product, as well as by format. Now, this website has a lot of information on it. In addition to uh, coursework, a class you can take, they have documentation, learning plans. Learning plans are a group of courses that step you through uh, learning through many different classes. From there you can uh, look at things like tutorials as well, videos, training seminars which can be live or recorded, and web courses. A lot of what we do in this class are web courses and let's just go up here and not change any of these and let's just get started by looking at for exploring GIS maps. So the first class that you're going to do this semester is this one, exploring GIS maps, or the first web training. So to get started, you simply click here, and we're going to move on from there. Notice the ones that are green versus the ones that are red. The green are in progress and the red have been completed. I've actually done these several times, so they've reset. And notice you've also got learning plans that are a groups of courses. And then you've got even things like instructor-led courses, which cost more. So an instructor-led course is one that you either go to Esri or do a live uh, training with their instructors and they are pretty expensive that's kind of standard um, 
software training prices there, two days for $1,400. That's about what you'd get to go to Adobe or Microsoft or any of these places for training. Now, if you look around enough, you'll see some classes are free. This is people could do these without current software maintenance. But the ones that require maintenance are the ones that you have to have current software maintenance. That's one of the benefits you have of taking classes here as a student. You get all the training for this required maintenance um, training. So let's jump in and look at what a class looks like. And we'll talk about the anatomy and structure of a class real quickly. So you come here, you can read about the course. You can look at the goals, describe the importance of GIS in making informed decisions, and explore and create GIS web maps. This particular class uses ArcGIS online only. You don't need any software loaded on your computer. So as I launch the course, it's going to come up. And I had this one reset so that I could show you kind of what it looks like from the start. So the anatomy of one of these web courses is that across the top are the different sections of the course and down this side is the kind of the table of contents for each section. So the overview only has an introduction. It tells you about the class, it gives you some goals, and the software requirements. For this one you only need an ArcGIS online organization. You're going to use their online ArcGIS platform. So you should have joined our ArcGIS online organization already. If you have not, Look for instructions in Moodle on how to do that, or contact your instructor, please. So from there, I'm going to click Start, and it's going to go to this first section, What is GIS? So I'm going to click Start, it moves over, and you can see that it's not been completely reset. I've already done some of this stuff. So you are to make sure to watch all of the videos You're also supposed to read about all of the, uh, you're supposed to read all of the content as well. Enter some ideas you have about different uh, places where you go in your daily life. The next thing, Mapping relationships, it talks about these different relationships that we map, so make sure to read everything and step through. Talks about the difference between imagery and reference maps. And then at the end of section one, there is a quiz. Now this is an important thing to, to take away from this little demonstration. You need to get a certain amount correct on the quizzes in whatever sections have quizzes. I don't believe every section will have a quiz in every class, but there's a lot of quizzes. So without even looking at the answers, I know I need to choose two here. I didn't look at the question or the answer, but I'm just going to click to give some answers. And again, I'm not really looking at the questions or the answers because I kind of want to miss them to show you what it looks like if you don't pass the quiz. I'll click Submit, and it tells you that you did not pass. I missed them all. Now notice I can try again right away and jump back in, but I'm going to have to pass that quiz before I can get the certificate for this class. Notice that I can move past it, but in this case it's not showing content. And I don't think that's because of the course. I believe that's because of the internet connection. So in my experience, and this demo is not working very well because the site's having some problems. In my experience, I've been able to get past a quiz without passing it. And by the end, it told me that I wasn't done. I'd not completed all the quizzes. So I had to go back through the class and find it. Yes, yes. So see, here it is. Here's making maps. The next section, understanding scale. We learn about scale. And remember, I did not pass the quiz in two, but I got past it. So when you get to the conclusion, it's locked because I haven't finished everything. So you have to step through all the sections up here, make sure you have check boxes and you've completed the quiz on each one. 
When you have, you will obtain a certificate that you have completed this course. Now, to go back to previous trainings you may have done, or if you don't get through this training in one sitting, you can go to My Academy, and you can look at your record, and it's loading here. Notice here is this Exploring GIS Maps, and I can resume the course. I don't have a certificate for it yet. I don't want to archive it. Courses that I have completed, I have a certificate for. So look here, and this is what you'll upload when you complete a course. So in this class, you're going to do quite a few Esri Academy web courses, and at the end, you'll upload your certificate for them. Now, I will show you one other thing. If you'll notice, if I look at this course, this course is in a much different format. And I want to show this to you just so you understand that the Esri training site has been around for a long time and it's had a recent facelift. It used to be called the Virtual Campus and the courses started off looking like this. Notice you've got all the contents down the side and you've got information over here. Similar concepts in that there are videos and stuff to read. However, just the, and the, the formatting and how the web page is laid out is different. All right. Now, one other thing I'll say about this course, this uh, website, is that some courses will have you download some data. The ArcGIS online courses usually don't because it's an online system with online data. Sometimes it has you download some so that you can re-upload it back to the system. But um, essentially, you walk through the web course, you do all the reading, watch all the videos, do the exercises, and at the end you should have a certificate after you take all, all the quizzes and pass them. The older format, there was only a quiz at the end and you had to get 8 out of 10 questions. The newer format, if there's 4 questions, you have to get 3 of them correct, they'll let you miss 1. So, um, and so this is uh, the Esri Academy or the Esri Training Site. Now, I do want to step back and show you a couple other things. As Esri uh, evolves and grows, they've also got this learn.orcgis.com site. And notice there's a lot of lessons here. Things change a lot. So they've got lessons based on ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcMap, Enterprise. They've also got some online books that we'll probably reference a little bit here and there. They are free. But if you look here, let's just look at the ArcGIS Online lessons. And you'll see the getting started one here. This is the getting started lesson. You may have, uh, you will likely do this one um, in this class. We always have in the past. So notice also. And if you notice also at the top, there's a Learn ArcGIS Beta. So things change quickly. It's a lot to keep up with with their training. This is not a very old site, but they've already got this new way that they're representing these, uh, these exercises to us. So uh, you can search all the content. They've got it categorized by different uh, roles within an organization based on capabilities, so mapping, field operations, real-time visualization. So what's the difference between this Esri Academy and this Learn ArcGIS site? Well, this slide shows us a little bit of the differences. The, the, the column to the right here, the Esri Academy and Esri training has been around for a long time. Some of the training's free, but some of them you get with a qualified product. That means you have paid for a soft piece of software and you maintain it through, through a, a licensing fee every year. You have to log into Esri.com to access the learning. The learning progress is actually tracked through the Esri Academy. You get certificates of completion and you have a training history, and all those things are good for, for showing to... Uh, potential employers. Um, 
You can also uh, get to training that you have to pay extra for, like in-person, real, real uh, in-person training. The course development takes a little bit longer. It, it works according to a curriculum plan, and they're developed by the ESRI training team. So the Learn ArcGIS site is all free training. No login retry required. The progress is not tracked. And it provides opportunities for people to give GIS a try. Maybe people who are getting a trial software and want to give it a try and do some exercises. The, their lessons are produced quickly. Uh, and they're often in response to current events or market-driven interest. That site had 20 new uh, lessons put up when the coronavirus first started uh, entering our country. So there's a lot of coronavirus stuff up there and th they all got pushed to the Learn ArcGIS site. And they're also contributed not only by Esri but by some of their small business partners. A lot of educators put their lessons up. So uh, as part of the Learn ArcGIS site, I also just wanted to point out one other thing. There's a new Teach with GIS hub. Now this is supposed to be for educators um, and it is part of Learn ArcGIS, if you'll see up here, but um, it's supposed to be tailored a little bit more for um, educators and students. Notice it's mapping a map of fire using ArcGIS online and the Living Atlas. That's probably the current California fires going on right now. Here's some coronavirus stuff, some more coronavirus stuff, some more coronavirus stuff. Um, Let's see, uh, Living Atlas is a data set, a large data set within ArcGIS Online. So a lot of different stuff in here. So I wanted to point out to you some of these training resources and let you uh, get a feel for how they're used.